In this video, I want to demonstrate how to switch from line to arc while still in the line command. So first, I'm going to select my front plane and activate sketch. Then I'll move into the graphics area, use my mouse gestures to activate line. I'm going to start from the origin and create a vertical line, then this horizontal. Then I'll come down with a vertical, another horizontal up, create one more vertical line, and then I want a line that later will be at 10 degree angle, but I won't worry about that yet. And now I've created my lines and I need two more arcs for this sketch. So one way to switch to arc mode is to push A on my keyboard. So I've pushed A and I'm now creating an arc. So I'll click and as soon as I do, I'm back into line mode. So I push the A key to switch into arc mode and now I want to switch into arc mode again, but this time I'm going to move my mouse back over the endpoint and I'm in arc. So I'm going to come down here and click create that arc and then I'll come back to the origin to finish off this sketch. This is going to be a revolved part so I'll add a center line. And I have my center line. I'm going to push escape. I'll just recenter the geometry to the screen and now I can fully define this with dimensions. And as I do these arcs might jump around a bit. I won't worry about it, it's easy to fix. So now I'm gonna use mouse gestures to activate smart dimension. And I wanna add my dimensions. So first I'll add a couple of linear dimensions from here to here will be inch and three quarters. Everything rescales fine, so I'll keep going. This groove width is 3 16 And again, everything seems to be going good, so that's great. This arc here is inch and a half. And there it messed up a bit, so that's okay. I'm gonna push escape, and I'm just gonna grab an endpoint and drag it around, and try and get it back to where it should be. If it doesn't go, I'll use Control Z, and I'll undo back to here. I'll leave this radius for now. I'll add a few more dimensions and relationship, and then I'll go and alter this to the proper size, and it won't alter my shape so much. The main thing is don't panic. The other thing I would like is this center point of this arc needs to be down here in this line. So I'll select this line, hold control, select the center point, release control, and I'll make those coincident. Everything jumped around, and now I can probably alter this, and it'll work out. So I'll enter inch and a half. Everything resized, and it's good. I'm going to push escape. I'm going to drag this around a little bit again. I'll reactivate dimension, and I'll keep going from there. So. From this entity to this entity will be 10 degrees. Again, it all updated fine. So I'll keep adding dimensions. But before I continue, I'm going to push escape one more time. I want to see my center line. So I'm going to zoom in on this end. And I'm going to grab the center line endpoint and just pull it out so I can still see it. I'll refit the geometry to the screen. Use smart dimension again to activate dimensioning. And I'll keep dimensioning. So this radius here is 0.5. The overall length of the part is three and three quarters. Again, it's gonna keep jumping around. That's not a problem, I'm not worried about it. And now I'm ready to add some diameter dimensions. So I'll select this entity, my center line. And remember, if I stay between the entity I selected at the center line, I'll get the radius dimension. If I move beyond, I double the dimension and get the diameter, which is what I want. So I'm gonna move past the center line Click to place the dimension, and I'll enter the size of three quarters. The D stays beside my mouse, telling me I'm now gonna double all my dimensions, or because this will be a revolved part, I'm adding diameter dimensions. This diameter here is seven eighths. And I have one more diameter to do, and that's to, I'll just zoom in a bit here, to this undercut. I'll click to place the dimension, and I'll enter its size of 0.690. I'll fit the geometry to the screen and now I have a fully defined sketch. I'll push escape twice to exit dimensioning, move my center line a bit, and that's how I switch between line and arc to create the handle for my nutcracker. 